Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Uh, we are working our way through a, a short bit of uh, Matthew's Gospel from chapter 6 at the moment, and today we're going to read verses 24 through to 30, where Jesus says this, No one can serve two masters. Either you'll hate one and love the other, or you'll be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you'll eat or drink, or about your body, what you'll wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They, they don't sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about your clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They don't labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? There's, a, there's a, a, a saying that goes along the lines of when two women turn up at a party wearing the same dress, it's an absolute disaster. But when two men turn up wearing the same clothes, we just figure we got it about right. In truth, we all worry about things unnecessarily, men and women, maybe just different things. When I say that, you need to know that there is a place for being concerned about the resources we have and about stewarding them wisely. We should do that well. But there's also something to be said about living in faith, knowing that God provides for our needs as we find we have them. I've so often seen extraordinary things happen when our resources seem to be getting a little lower than we're comfortable with, sometimes scarily low. I came across a, a great story about an orphanage run by uh, the philanthropist George Muller. When they'd run out of milk for the many children that they homed, they prayed that God would provide for them. And soon after the prayer was prayed, the milk cart broke down outside the front door. Rather than have the milk getting spoiled where the repairs were made, the owner donated all the milk to the orphanage. Extraordinary answer to prayer. See, we have a tendency to rely upon our own devices to solve the problems that we're facing, rather than turning to God. And he doesn't let us down. He meets our needs. He won't necessarily bless us with more than we need, or even more than we can be trusted with. But when we need clothing, for example, he might not give us designer labels. When we need food, he may not take us to gourmet restaurants. When we need money, it might not be more than we need at the time, but he does bless us with the things that we need. One of the lessons the parable of the talents teaches us is that God blesses us with great things when, we, when he sees we can be trusted with a few. Read about it in Matthew 25. We should take our anxieties about life struggles and place them at the feet of the one who yearns to bless us and just leave them there. Then we should look and see what will come. Sit and wait and pray in faith. And let's pray now. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are the one who loves to bless his children with good things. Fill us with faith, Lord. Help us to find our way to you through the mess and chaos of life. Help us to um, put our absolute trust and our faith in you. And Father, as you bless us, help us to see and receive your blessings as you would have us see them. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.